Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to RimWorld. So we ended on a pretty positive note last time when we saved a bunch of our friends from these evil rhinoceroses that had come to kill them, because we are good guys. So that was pretty nice. We've got our research reactor up and running, um, so we're slowly learning the power of the atom. We got some actually fairly expensive stuff from them. We also got some control rod actuators. I don't know what these are for, but they sound like they'll be really handy in the future, so that's good. And we got a multi-launcher up here too that we may end up using, in addition to the usual, you know, food and stuff like that, which actually I should set to priority hauling. Yeah, let's do that. Speaking of food, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shift some of my storage zones around. So I don't really want most of my animals coming in the base at all, because they're tracking a bunch of dirt around. So I'm going to make them a separate food space out here. This is going to contain hay and disgusting meals and like kibble and stuff, and that's... It. I'll probably pop a vent in here so it stays cold. I'm not too worried about it. Well, maybe I should be worried about it, but I think I'll put them out here and then that will keep them, you know, out of the way. And I'm going to move these doors over a little bit too, so that'll be good for them. That'll make things a little more straightforward. Also, we've got enough crap that I want to make a separate zone specifically for weapons. This is not permanent, but I just want them all moved over here so I can see what's going on, you know? <laughs> we've got all these launchers and rifles and pistols and stuff like that so we'll get all that shifted over there and then i can actually take a look at things and evaluate them um let's see here speaking of which it would be nice to build a mending table and i think i'm gonna go ahead and just do that we can afford it still where are you in here mending workbench so we're gonna use this just to kind of repair things Ah, crap i was hoping it would fit there it'll fit there just to kind of keep some of our stuff repaired. Like I said, I have it set to the strictest settings, so it's not going to reset dead man flags or anything like that, but some stuff I'm going to make is going to be fairly expensive, and I'd like to be able to maintain it. Speaking of fairly expensive, since we have a melee person here in the sense of Waffle, I'm going to make her a... Let's see here. This is a Black Chitin Duster, because Black Chitin stuff is awesome. And I'm going to make her a heavy fur long sleeve shirt, which is also awesome. And that way I think will keep her warm enough that, you know, she can use the Black Chitin stuff. That's the best armor that I'm going to have available to me at the moment, plus a flak vest, plus a nice helmet. So I think if I put her in heavy fur and Black Chitin, that'll make her, you know, pretty well protected. I'm also going to make her a nice long sword. We're almost done with deep drilling. I'm just going to take a quick detour into long blades, and then we'll go on into our scanning so that we can actually find the underground things. Let's see. Mass graves. Um... I'm not inspired that that mod is going to work. It's got some notes in it that make it sound like it's got some incompatibilities, so I'm just going to pass on that. I will start burning baddies here in the near future. The same with gear up and go. It doesn't look like it works exactly the way that I thought it would. Um, I was thinking that I'd be able to take people and, you know, have them run over and put on specific gear and stuff. It doesn't really look like it does that, so... Maybe I'll use that. I will set up some defensive positions. We'll see. And then art. We're probably going to have to start up some art. I don't want to, but we need silver. I do have the spare labor. I can go ahead and pull Moken off, and that'll be good for him to stay inside anyway, so... Maybe. We'll see about that. And we've got some wooden walls on the outside still, and just on and on and on. There's lots of stuff to do, and less time to do it in. And Blaine, you should be... Oh, dude, I didn't fix the zone so that you guys can come sleep inside. Sorry about that. Herbivores should include this area so you can come sleep inside. And so should animals. Oh, I took out your beds, and I did this on purpose. And now I feel kind of bad for that. This is Wolf? Okay. Greg can also come inside here. Okay, there we go. Sorry, guys. I would like you to come sleep inside. It's good for you. D does it actually matter? No. But I would like them to sleep inside. It just makes me feel better about myself, you know? And... Yeah, beyond that, I think I have you guys... Let's see here. Let's get this set back to normal. Yep, okay. These zones, man, I tell ya, I'm not super inspired in how they work. I know part of it is that I'm just using it wrong, but even so, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, see, we're just about out of meat again. I moved some of my growing zones over to actually growing food and not just endless, endless, endless amounts of, um, like, cloth and stuff. So, I think we'll be okay, but... It is something I would like to get taken care of sooner rather than later. Okay, Moken's decided to work in here. Now, it is really cold in here, and you're going to be really unhappy, right? Oh, no, you don't seem to care. Okay. Well, that's nice. All right, you guys go ahead and get those floors in. I'm going to move my power over here. I wish I'd made this wide enough to put two wind generators in there. I didn't, and now it's annoying because I'm going to have to add that extra space. So, they'll get to that. Oh, you're taking your time to work on the floors first. Well, okay, that isn't quite what I wish you would have done. Are you building the conduit right away? Okay, good. Well, that's that's fine, I guess. 
Yeah, we'll we'll pick up on power. All oh, this thing is so cool looking. You've got the shrink off radiation going on in there. I love it. That's so neat. Oh good, you made that duster. Okay, hold on. Now before you get away with it, I'm gonna follow you over because that is Waffles Duster forever. Yes, you were that duster. Those are great dusters. Yes, very good. And we've still got some slates, so go ahead and rebuild some walls here. Thank you very much. And this does not have any wooden... This does not have any mending things, which is correct. Um, I guess I'm going to hold on to that. I've, I've got it built, so that's good. So let's just turn it off, and then I'll come back and deal with that in a little bit. But you guys are both working on this, so that's kind of cool. And you've made the button-down shirt, okay. And once again, that is going to be... Let's see, what's the temperature on this? Oh, this said it insulates extremely well. Oh yeah, well, 14 is... 14's alright. Come wear that. Ah, good! We've learned how to make nuclear reactors. Awesome. And now, let's go ahead and let's take a break really quick here from that. Go ahead and finish up your other research. Actually... Should I just go ahead and start up art? <sighs> I guess I could. I don't know. Okay, anyway, so, nuclear power. Yep, see, a thousand. See, that's our problem. Now, is this going to stay on? Oh, it is going to stay on. Oh, hello. Or is it not? Po or power needed. Is it producing its own power? No, it's not. Well, turn it off then, if we're not using it. That's lame. Okay, so in that case, yep, go ahead and just do whatever it is you were doing with research. You know what? I will go ahead and just kit Mokin off research. Um, I'm going to have cleaning get taken over by Mort. And I think that will be okay. And I have this mining neuro trainer. And I've been trying to decide who gets it. And I think it's actually going to be Convergence. Convergence is good at lots of things, but not things that come up a lot. Handling, yes. Um, hunting, yes. Well... Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. I actually can't decide, which is why I'm kind of holding on to that and not doing anything with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get some art going here. Um, I can never find these things when I'm looking for them. Sculptor's table, that's right. And wood is sufficient. We're just going to put it in here for the moment. That'll be okay. And then we'll make you a nice chair. And then there you will stay forever, basically. Alright, well that's pretty cool. Oh, I wish you guys would... Um, I need you guys to haul these things, actually, so the animals can eat. So they don't starve to death. So, I apologize for making you all run around and do that, but if you could do that, please. Then they will be happy. And they will not starve. And this is actually technically refrigerated in here, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So finish that up. You're visiting graves. Okay, you've started to move the weapons around, that's good. And we still have some slate. Let's go ahead and let's let's replace these walls, because this is just making me nervous. <laughs> I guess I'd forgotten that I still have some wooden walls. So do those first, and then we're going to start moving around our power and everything. Oh, cargo pods. Well, that's nice. What do we get? Direwolf wool. Okay, well, that sounds cool. You know, it's not enough to make anything, but it sounds cool. Alright, our art is up, so let's go ahead and let's get this started. Um... Statue of Colonists to begin with, those are pretty fun. I think let's do that. Let's um, do that forever. We only have one ours, so that doesn't matter. Bamboo, ironwood, redwood, uranium wood. No, 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 none of those. Um, let's use everything except for, I guess, granite. Because I might need granite. So just make them, I guess. And we'll just try to keep you supplied of stone. Actually, actually, hold on. Let's actually, instead, let's start with large sculptures, because I'm going to end up using less materials that way, I think, over time. E yes. And just go ahead and make it out of sandstone for the first time. And then I'll deal with the rest of the stone after that a little bit later. Yes, that's a good idea. Okay, and it does look like things are getting moved around. Okay, food is fine in there. I've forbidden these meals because I don't know if they did a good job cooking them, and I don't want to find out the hard way that that's not true. Um, please do carry these things inside. And did you drop anything over here that I want? Oh yeah, those. Don't leave them out there. Bring them in. You guys, honestly. And where's that muffalo I was trying to tame? Way across the map. Are either of these female? Yes. Why don't you tame that one then and not this one? Because it's in a better spot. Oh, you know what? Convergence, are you even falling through to this? 
I think you might not be. I may have had that screwed up for kind of a while. Ah, good. Deep drilling is done. So, in that case, let's go ahead, like I said, and let's do Long Blade Super here quick. There's, <laughs> let's do Long Blade Super quick, rather. Oh, you guys never got down here, because I have construction set to do so many other things. Okay, let's actually leave that stuff alone then and let them go do that. You guys gonna go take the floors apart? You are. Oh, we need more muffalos. God. Here, tame this muffalo as well. Just tame all the muffalos. Convergence? You're removing floors. Is there any chance... You can try to tame these muffalos. Hold on, we'll check on the visitor in a second here. What's your percentage? I mean, yeah, you're gonna go through a bunch of vegetables and stuff. 34%. Ah. Alright, alright. And you started a social fight? You started a social fight with one of my people? Oh. Noriko started it. Well. Alright. Let them beat each other up a little. All right. Uh, and I'm switching... Now I'm switching your stuff down. Now, guests, you get medical care but no medicine for quite a ways up. Because now I'm not wasting medicine on you. Because that was entirely your fault. And I'm not happy about that. Moody, where are you at? You're way down there. Ah, uh, Who else could come and tend to you in the meantime? Is Teddy up here somewhere? Yes, Teddy's right here. Teddy can come tend to you. And then Moody can stay down doing whatever it is Moody's doing. Moody's down here. And this is actually what I want you doing. Look at all the slate. Oh, that's going to be great. And Mokan is working away. Yeah, I'm going to build big sculptures because they take a lot longer. And then they'll use less materials. I'm not sure that's a great idea in terms of making silver now that I think about it. But I think that's what I'm going to do. We have a lot of coffee too, by the way. You may have noticed this. And we have a lot of coffee. Oh, our alliance, our relations with the Pain Constitutional Confederation have become very close. Oh, okay. See, that was worth helping them, though. Oh, you tamed our muffalo. <gasps> That's fantastic. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's see here. And our new muffalo, confusingly named Foxy, we will go ahead and get you trained just from obedience. Oh, this is going to be so great. Should I try to train them both? Should I just try to get all the muffalos? I think I'm going to do that. Convergence, you're still at like 35%, right? You just made shushing noise at a muffalo. That should work. 34. That's that's okay. I'm happy with that. Okay, good. Long blades. So, um, you may have thought, Deco, are you paying enough attention today? And the answer is no. Because I actually have enough money to start researching nuclear power. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. So, purchase. Start the project. Yes. Although, wait. Hold on. No, I need deep drilling first. Son of a... It's only a thousand, though. This won't take long. There's still some components here and there, but not many at all. Okay, and you guys are slowly going to go fetch that. Oh, I didn't even notice the traders. Hi, traders. Um, you're riding to a job. Oh, this is so cool. I would stop you, but this is just too cool. Look at you. Riding down to gather things. <laughs> Could that be any more cool? Uh, the answer is no. It actually couldn't, which is strange, but true. Okay, go ahead and hop off then. And Whoa, uh, I have the wrong person selected. Just go ahead and hop off and come trade. Okay, so, anything I want to do with you guys? Actually, you will buy a whole bunch of crappy guns. Up to 800 silver worth. You can just have all these really junky ones, the poor quality ones. Um... Machine pistols are just bad, and so are auto pistols, basically all the time. Oh, I noticed you've gotten a sculpture done. Good job. Um, and then I'm going to sell them just a lot of these lower quality weapons. We have rather a lot of weapons, so they can go ahead and just have some of those. Um, yes, that will clear us some space for sure. Yep, let's switch over to grand sculptures. Yeah, let's just do that. We'll just make really big ones. Here, how about, let's see here. 260 for a huge statue of a colonist? Yes. That's what we should do. For sure. Just go ahead and use any stone blocks. I do not have any at the moment, actually, which is sort of interesting. Because um, they're all down here. Oh, actually, there will be enough in just a few moments here. Okay, good. 
Nice. So what else do I want to do in the meantime? Um, long blades. So let's get that taken care of. So we need to make... We'll just put an electric smithy out here. I think we'll be fine. Actually, what's the cost difference? You know what? Seriously, I don't care about having to feed this some wood. So let's just go ahead and let's just put a regular smithy out there. And let's make... Some kind of long blade. Plasteel would be best, but probably more expensive than I want to do at the moment. Okay, so... Longsword is 100 ingredients, yeah. So, I think, unfortunately, I am just going to go ahead and have to make this out of steel. And I will have Mort come make this. Mort, you should be on pretty high weapon production, right? No, actually, you're not. Um, actually, I will have Don come and do this, because I need Don to get up just a little higher in crafting. So, go ahead and do that. Here, Don, why don't you go ahead and refuel that? Yep, now that it's refueled. There you go, now you're going to make a longsword. Good. Very good. And this is still refrigerated. Yeah, I gotta fix this. Let's just go ahead and let's just mine these two areas out. Like such. And then I can just go ahead and I can put... Well, the thing is, is I don't want people to have a mood debuff from bringing stuff in here. Actually, I can just go ahead and I can use an embrasure. Let's just put a wooden embrasure in right here. And then that will turn this into the same temperature room, while it's still making them separate individual rooms. I know that's something that I know about, but I tend to forget about, so this will be good. Bandits are spreading, I don't care. You know what? Let's go ahead and let's move our power over here, all in the same place. Let's go ahead first, and let's go ahead and let's make the bridges. Um, just to get it all out of the way. I'm kind of tired of having it over here, and I would like to be able to rebuild... Okay, good. And I would like to be able to um, build it into this area. So, let's just put an area up here so that I can build our other turbine, and then... I'm going to switch off saying that every other time for you guys, by the way. And um, then we'll kind of move on from there. I think we've got enough marble for that. If not, we can get some marble right here. Yep, and okay, there are a few more components down here. Okay, good. Because also I need a place to put a component assembly bench. Um, which there is really not at the moment. I'm going to have to move this up here. And then expand my workroom into this whole area. Something like that. Maybe I'll make it longer too. I don't know, I'm really unhappy with the whole look. I think it's awful. Yeah, it's, it's deteriorating as it's being made. Isn't that ridiculous? I agree. How silly is that? Okay, so please hurry up and finish that. Oh, we're out of marble. Much as I suspected. Alas. You know what? Let's, let's play really dangerously here. Let's take this wall down first. Ooh, that is very dangerous indeed. But I think we can get away with it. And let's hold this door open. I do need to get some auto doors. The problem is, is as soon as you start putting auto doors in, you have to put them in everywhere because they're so great. And then it takes absolutely forever because, um, I'm sorry, then it takes an infinite amount of materials because they keep getting blown up and it's just a sad deal all the way around. Okay, so these just need to be made. So if someone could go ahead and make those, that would be awesome. <gasps> Look, we've got even more writing. So, be written by the master, yep, and by any pawn. Perfect. And who needs a pet muffalo? Waffle, obviously. And... Teddy's not really going to leave the base, so you know what? Uh, Noriko can have a couple different animals. Yes, that is a good idea. Are you my hunter? No, Convergence is my hunter. So, actually... Yeah, Convergence, and then... Yes. Sure, something like... something... I don't, I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Then Convergence has both a Leopard for hunting, and, um... And a Muffalo for riding. Yes, that is a good plan. Good thinking, me. Now, if one of you can come please build these walls, that would make me extremely happy. Oh, you made the statue already? Good lord, you're fast. Did you do a good job? Normal. All right. Hey, it's an image of Teddy. Teddy Mayo. Poised over the billiards table, planning his next action. His features are exaggerated. In front of a pack of cl clams don't come in packs. Yes. Enjoying himself at a billiards table. That is true. Let's go ahead and let's make another one. I'm going to keep shuffling these manually. Because there's particular things I wanted to do. So go ahead and go do that. Yeah, I do that. That's fine. 
Hey, you got our next Mufflo. All right. All right, we'll continue on with my stupid names that I'm going with. So welcome, Callie. Um, oh, I didn't put you guys in the right zones, did I? You should be in the herbivore zones. I bet you've been wandering around eating my other foods. That's that's okay. Whatever, that's fine. Okay, good. The long sword is made. So let's see where did that end up? Good quality, excellent. Waffle, go ahead and equip this as your primary weapon. You're still gonna carry around the EMP grenades. It makes her unhappy when I make her use them, but I don't I don't care. Or rather, I don't care enough to do anything about it. Okay, so let's get this stuff moved around. Um, let's see here. So where did I decide to leave a space? Looks like I left a space there. Yeah, that's okay. And let's get some power moved around first. Otherwise, that can be sort of funny. Uh, yeah, power, power conduit. Let's just run it down here like this, because I'm going to put my other solar generators over here too. Well, whatever. Just go ahead and do something like that. It doesn't really matter. Just get it over there. Okay, there we go, and let's move the rest of these over. So this one can go... Can I fit three of these in without blocking anything off? If I put one there... Well, see, I want to have access to the walls. Is the reason I don't usually do that. Well, I guess it is what it is this time. Okay. And then just run power everywhere. Yep, go ahead and take care of that. Quickly before the batteries all die. Then we're going to have all this space. It's going to be so great. And I realize this is all now kind of stupid, but let's not worry about it. Okay, look at this huge area I have to expand into. That's really cool. And that's good, because we're going to need it in about 10 seconds here, because we just finished up our ground-penetrating scanner. So, let's turn this back on, and let's start learning how to use nuclear power, or whatever it is we're using. What's up next? Yes, nuclear power. Start the project. Ooh, this is going to be exciting. Then we have all kinds of things to make. Now, hilariously, our power grid is no longer connected. That's actually pretty funny, so go ahead and get that taken care of. Waffle thought that she was bored, and so I'm going to give her some stuff to do, including, like, making this area bigger. There we go, main power's back on. But I want to make sure that I don't accidentally tunnel underneath, you know, a bug zone. So, we're just going to do this a bit at a time, um, because this is where I'd like to put a lot of my nuclear stuff, because it's nice and safe. And there's also some steel flagged over here, so that'll give her something to do. And I'll have to think about what I want to do with this big area up here. Yeah. And I do have these growing areas. Let's actually, let's do that. Let's grow a bunch of hay grass over here. Something like that. Or actually, someone said that something else was even better for it. Um... Well, I'm not sure. Let's just grow hay grass at the moment, because otherwise I'll get confused. And we should also grow something that'll grow okay over the summer. Um, for our actual food, you know, for colonist food. And it's not going to be that great. But we can put, you know, a spot out here. And we can put... Um... We can go ahead and put in snow beets. That's fine. So go ahead and work on that. A bulk goods trader, eh? Okay, we can chat with them quick. Um, Norco, what are you up to? You're just smoothing the wall. Why don't you give them a call? If they sell uranium, I could use some. <laughs> Miniature schnauzers. No, sorry. Um... Well, there's really not a lot I want to do with you guys. You can have that little bit of dire wolf wool, and you can have a shirt or two, but otherwise... Oh, well, I mean, we have these statues. I guess that's okay. So, I've mined as much as I can under here. I'm smoothing out these walls so I don't accidentally... Hold on. Yeah, I don't have time for that. Um, so I don't accidentally either dig out areas and get bug infestations, and also so I can run the wiring without, you know, accidentally mining and getting infestations. And we learn how to... Uh, do this bit. So next up, we need to experiment with the research reactor. That's nerve-wracking. Maybe we should flip this back over to Moken, working on it. I think we should do that. And I think it's not going to do anything until I turn this back on. So let's get this cleared up. And you know what I could do is I could have Moken... Uh-oh! Another Sharknado? Um, okay. Well, quick. Animals, come inside. Come indoors. Everyone else, let's restrict you to what is now the base, and I think that this is not big enough. Alright. Everyone is now moving into safer zones, more or less. Given that we're going to have just an endless number of sharks coming in now. This is fine. I think Sharknados are funny. Oh, wait. I want the store closed. Will it close behind you? 
think I just... Oh, no, I got it. Okay, good. Yeah, they're going to come set off our traps, but on the plus side, I didn't actually get those set to be rebuilt, so it's fine. Because I wasn't in the home zone at the time. So that's okay. I'd rather shoot them. All right, so you guys work on this for just a little bit. Well, that was a nice short tornado. Okay, so how many sharks did we get then? Oh, just five or six. This is no big deal. Let's wait for them to get a little closer, and then we'll come kill them all. I could set up defensive positions, but we're not going to at this exact moment in time. Okay, all of you who are not Waffle, come on down here. Come shoot some of these stupid sharks. Waffle, come down here and stand in the doorway. This will make you feel good about yourself. Getting to melee a shark. Are you coming indoors? Why are you so slow? Oh, no reason. You're just slow. Okay. Wait, where are you going? Oh, you guys are not set right. You should be set to indoors. Careful, Foxy. You should be okay. Trying to move people around just a little bit here. There you go. Great. Good enough. All right. Kill them. Kill them all. You're consuming a simple meal? I don't really want you consuming meals inside my base. Should we just kill it? Nah. We'll leave it alone until a little later. Alright, is that it for sharks? Um, yep, that's it for sharks. Okay, so those that are still alive down here, let's just go ahead and let's just hunt them. Downed, yes, blah blah blah. Okay, whatever. You guys will take care of it. Alright, and while I was staring at the sharks, I don't think I actually said this, I, um, restricted the herbivores from going in and eating, um, the hay grass at the moment. They can go wander around outside. It'll be good for them. And so, on that note, I think we're going to go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we're going to get these last two things smoothed out. We're going to flip on the research reactor, and we're going to find out if Moken is going to kill us all. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.